He says, I call you a friend. So, me and Adam, one day we decided, you know, we've been going to church for six or seven months. Every Wednesday, every Sunday morning, and every Sunday night. We hadn't missed. And God had been blessing me. I walked into church there. and I started at the job that I started for $5.50 an hour. That's crazy, isn't it? Back in 1995, minimum wage might have been four twenty-five. So I was making about a dollar over minimum wage. And man, let me tell you something. Good money. Good money. Can't get some of y'all flip a hamburger for five dollars and fifty cents now. That was good money. Gas was ninety-seven cents a gallon. Woo! Good money. So I get there and I go to work, but still yet I couldn't pay my bills. I had enough money to go to the movies. Uh oh, I'm meddling, Rod. You may have to stand in between me and them. I had enough money to go to the movies. I had enough money to go to Brahms. I had enough money to go to McDonald's. I had enough money to go to this place called Late Night Video. Man, I had to go buy a movie. We'd rent a movie and we'd sit in front of our, 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 our big screen TV. Just kidding. We didn't know what big screen was. <laughs> We had a 27-inch gold star, and I don't know what gold star is, but anybody ever had a gold star TV? 27-inch gold star, and it was one of those bubble shaking. Praise God. We'd sit in front of that, and we'd, we'd, we'd rent movies, and we'd hold each other and just love on each other, and just so glad we was married, and the kids would go to screaming, and we'd have to come back into reality. and We'd be dating one minute and be parents the next. Y'all know what I'm talking about? And we had all this money. I would go to church and my mom would say, Roger, God told me to pray that you would get a raise. And I would think, I don't deserve a raise. I ain't, I ain't, been, I ain't been doing what I'm supposed to do. But at the same time, mom would jerk me up there. And mom would pray for me. And I kid you not, she prayed for me on a Wednesday. And I come in on Friday. And a guy walked in there and he said, you know what? He said, I don't know who it was, but it makes me mad. And I said, what makes you mad? He said, somebody got a raise. It should have been me. And I said, it wasn't me. But it was me. I got my check. I, I kid you. I got my check, and he'd bump me to seven fifty, two more dollars. I mean, I'm like, Woo. go to church. Keep listen to me. Keep serving God. Keep doing what I'm supposed to do. At that time, I was a bass player. I was actually a pretty good bass player, Russ. I, I, I was a bass player, and it was a piano player. It was a praise and worship, just a little bit there. And, and I mean, God blessing. I, I'm doing everything that I need to do, and God's working with me, and God's pulling me, and God's saying, Roger, give me 10%. But I can't give you 10%, God, because, because me and Anna's got a hot date tonight. Go to church, things rock and roll. I kid you not, my mom's sitting there. The Holy Ghost begins to move on her. My mom's about this tall. She's a little old Cherokee Indian. That tall. Get the camera off me. Mama's this tall. Mama's. <laughs> I love you, Mama. She's coming to that church, and she's standing up, and the Holy Ghost would move on her. And I mean, she, she'd go. way mom and moving she stopped and she looked at me and she said come here Roger we're going to pray for you that God give you a raise and I'm thinking I just got a two dollar raise but okay <laughs> I mean they would pray and I mean it would just I mean bam 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 I walked in there I come home and I'm grinning Friday I come home I'm grinning and I told Anna I said you will never guess what just happened she's what and I said they're paying me nine dollars an hour now in 1995, in 1995, I'm making $9 an hour. Whew. God said, give me my 10%. I can't, Lord. Because, you know, I'm making more money now. I, I, I went down and, and, and I went to this rent to own place and got me this TV because I can pay the payments. Yeah. And I'll just be real with you. Because the more money I made, the more things that I thought I needed. And I'm getting blessed. I have so much, and I bring in little. 
I sold all this stuff, but, but yet, still yet, I'm bringing in so little. And I got all this stuff accumulated. But I feel like a mess. I feel uncomfortable. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I just don't understand it. One day on a Wednesday night, it was a summer night. I come home one day, got off a little late for work. I come in, Anna said, get in the shower, let's go to church. I said, you know what? I don't want to go to church tonight. Let's men you take a break. She said, seriously? I said, yeah, it's Wednesday night. Everybody misses all the time. She said, but we're the piano and bass players. Ah, there won't be that much there. So being a good wife and obeying, she says, okay. So I get in the car. I said, let's go order a pizza and rent a movie. She said, on a Wednesday night? Yeah, I'm going to celebrate. I know, listen, this is a true story. I get in my pickup, I drive down the road, I get two miles down the road, and my air conditioner goes, bang, locks up, the belt breaks, I pull on the side of the road. The first thing that came to my mind was, you should be in, it's, it's not, you should be in church. That's not what God said. He said, you're not a tithe payer. The enemy broke in. Come on, somebody. The enemy broke in because when you come into a connection with God, and then, and, 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 listen, I'm not trying to preach you real good so everybody would just listen. You, you have to listen and do what God tells you to do. And, and some of you may be on the spot money complete. But I'll tell you, statistics say that 20% of the church is what's taking care of the church, and the other 80% are just stragglers, and they're sold a lot, and they're getting a lot, but they got a bag or bag with holes in it, and they're losing. And they're the... Ah, and they're, they're the ones that this going crazy. They're quitting every two weeks. They're mad. Everything ain't going right. They ain't coming back. I don't like you. You priested me. I can't stand you. I don't like that person. And all this stuff. And they got all this reason. And it's just because they got a big bag with a big hole in it. And they're making all this money. My God, you're looking at me like I'm crazy. But it's the truth. You better get your bag. You better seal up your hole. You better become a friend to God. And 